these symbols that were passed down to us by the ancients. These symbols of the black sun. Some will tell you these symbols are racist, satanic, all bad, stay away. But I tell you, these are the symbols of that ancient assembly of planet gods, led by Saturn. in the heights of the north. And these are the gods of a thousand names. some point that assembly of planet gods developed the cosmic mountain and it was glorious it was that rainbow bridge connecting Midgard to Asgard summit of the cosmic mountain is not only the highest point of the earth, it is also the earth's navel, the point at which the creation began. In Asia, it is of course Mount Meru. In Hindu mythology, a golden mountain that stands in the center of the universe and is the axis of the world, it is the abode of gods. At Ugarit, the Divine Council and its gods met on a cosmic mountain, the place where heaven and earth intersected and where divine decrees were issued. This place was at the source of the two rivers, in the midst of the fountains of the Double Deep. This well-watered mountain was the place of the assembled congregation. In Ugaritic texts, El's dwelling place is at the edge of the world, at the source of the two rivers, a place where the waters of the heavens and earth meet. El and Baal, surrounded by a council of deities, In several traditions, Hyperborea and the Black Sun are associated with a sacred, central, spiritual mountain. In Sumerian tradition, it is called the Midnight Mountain. That Black Sun above the mountain. In Indian tradition, the Midnight Mountain is Mount Maru. And indeed, the Garden of Eden is Hyperborea. That is from this book. Saturn is the planet that was considered dark and is associated with the black sun. The god of Saturn, Satur, Santur, Surtur, the form of the All Father, the source of both the creation and the destruction.
and this is the formation of that squatter man Taurus field within the cosmic mountain. For the Sumerians, Enlil was the personification of the mountain. Inki is the squatter man, lord of the earth, lord of the two rivers. From the Nag Hammadi finds in the Apocryphon of John, as that light appeared, a human likeness appeared within it. Very wonderful. Testament, we are told the Lord confused the language of the whole world. We see this in the Popol Vuh. Their speech was changed, and they could no longer understand each other clearly. In Africa, a madness struck the people, causing them to wander in all directions, jabbering strange words. Polynesian, a god in anger, changed their language. Inki, lord of abundance, changed the speech in their mouths. Inki, the squatter man. Everyone was zapped in this intense, extreme electrical event. The personified God under the winged assembly of gods. of the new sun. But this is that assembly of gods with the two. left us the symbols of the black sun and the squatter man. Tree of life, cosmic mountain. This is from the Vatican's online database where they give you a small glimpse into some of the things they have stolen. When I see this, I can't help but think of that global archetype that they call the God Self Icon, found around the world, also known as the Master of Animals.
also want to point out from the Old Testament. Amos 5.26 Kian is probably equivalent to Chiran, the name of Saturn amongst the Assyrians. And when you plug Amos 5.26 into Bible Hub, here at the bottom, Saturn, your star god, This is the star of Remphan, mentioned by Stephen in the New Testament, Book of Acts. The Arminian description of the Germanic Supreme God is given by von Liszt as Surtur. Surtur equals Santur, the black sun, Saturn. Here he says, all of the runes come from and surround the black sun. This is the symbol of our squatter man. And it resembles the window horn. And the window horn symbolizes a hero skamos. marriage between a god and a goddess. I can't help but think of that marriage of Venus to Saturn in the assembly of gods. Whatever those plasmatic streamers of Venus did, whatever form they took on, was considered sacred. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.